Hi, welcome back to chapter 2, Set Analysis Fundamentals. In this chapter, we'll look at some of the fundamental concepts which will be used as building blocks for future chapters. So let's get started. So first, let's look at what is set analysis. Set analysis is a tool used to create advanced expressions in ClickView and ClickSense. So set analysis can be used in ClickView and also in ClickSense. For example, you can copy the expression or the set expression you write in ClickView. You can directly paste that in ClickSense. It would work, assuming that you have the same data model and the data context is same. And also, it's very important to understand the difference between an expression and function. Just to give you a simple example, a function or function can be sum, count, average, or it can be any other statistical function or a text string manipulation function, right? Where an expression uses the function to solve a business problem. So in this case, you wanted to have sum of sales, which will give you total sales. And that is the expression. And the function itself is sum is a function. I hope that makes sense. So let me quickly show you in click view. So jump here. So let me create a simple text object. So if you see sum by itself is a function. And this function, ClickView, and ClickView provides these functions. Whereas now you write an expression. So if you want to write an expression, you can actually call a field in here. So let's say that I wanted to take sales, right? So we have the sales field. I will insert here and hit OK, hit OK. So if you see, this is an expression, right? Whereas sum itself is the function. So count is function, right? So it's very important to understand the difference between function and expression because we're going to use these terms a lot in coming lectures. So let me go back to PowerPoint. So it's important to remember set analysis is built on set theory. If you remember your high school Venn diagrams and set theory, you have union, intersection, and all of that stuff. So set analysis is actually built on mathematical set theory principles. And if you conceptually think about set analysis, it's very similar to making field selections. Generally in ClickView, you have one selection state. I mean, one active selection state, which is your current selections, right? Whereas using set analysis, you can have alternate or n possible selection states. You cannot see them, but it's almost that click view engine in the background is making those selections for you. That's probably simplest analogy for you to understand what set analysis means. As I've mentioned earlier, set analysis can be current selections or it may be alternative selections independent of current selections. Sets can be created by combination. So for example, if you use set operators, you can take one set and take an intersection of the other set and you will get the third set. They can be nested sets as well. One of the important rules are you have to use set analysis with an aggregation function. Although there is one exception where you can use the only function, Technically, it is also treated as the aggregation function, but it really doesn't aggregate any numbers. It will show the distinct values within your data set. So you can actually use the only function as well while you're writing set expressions. I mean, also not just the only function, there are loads of other functions which do support set analysis or set expressions. For example, like take first sorted value, right? That supports the set expression, take concat function, that's supposed the set expression as well. Set analysis always begin with the curly brackets. 
So you have the opening curly brace and then the closing curly brace that defines the set. We'll look at syntax in more detail, but for now, just try and remember that set analysis is just represented by the curly braces. As I mentioned earlier, set analysis is built upon set theory. It consists of three important components. The first one is set identifier and then set operator and set modifier. We'll look into each one of them in detail and we'll look at loads of examples followed by exercises for you to solve. So don't worry too much about them, but giving you high level overview, set identifiers are your full set or your current selection set or bookmark. These are like your set identifiers. Operators can be union, intersection, so on and so forth. And then you have set modifiers, which we will look in more detail, but think about set modifiers as your SQL where clause. So moving on. So why use set analysis? Set analysis helps you to define the aggregation scope, which is different from the current selections. Remember that selection state has only one active current selections. So if you wanted to aggregate something else, which is outside the current selection state, how would you do that using set analysis? And it's important for comparison analysis, like year on year comparison, or you wanted to compare two different products. So all that stuff will become very simple using set analysis. And needless to say, advanced calculations. So you wanted to perform an aggregation, then restrict some sets or some dimension values, all of that is possible in set analysis. It's really flexible way of dealing with data and writing complex expressions. It's simple to understand now. You can exclude the data or restrict the data. If you don't need something, you can always do that. So even from the current selection, you can say that I want everything in current selections except one or two dimension val values, you can exclude them. So no matter what your current selections are, these values are always excluded from your data set. And filter a specific dimension values. You can specifically filter down a specific dimension values. So no matter what, you always wanted to show a specific dimension values, you can do that. So no matter what you click, what your current selection state is, it is not going to impact the data set or the application. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in next video.